Hallo, grüß Gott, Gurken Freunde. I'm posting a seven week update on this cucumber system. You can see this is uh, seven weeks after I planted the seedlings into the system and they are growing all the way up to the light. I replaced the two castles with a California Lightworks solar system model 275 that's on loan and uh, because I think the light is a little bit more penetrating as you can see uh, here that the lower leaves are still getting light. I'm gonna shut off the light now so you can see the plants a little bit better. So I wish my ceiling here was higher uh, because I definitely could have added another foot and a half or so of height um, and I would probably, and it wouldn't be a big deal if I would just move the system uh, now would work uh, but it would be a little, just a little bit tricky with them um, the size that they are. Let's take a little bit look here at the root system. They are very very white and happy. I have my bubbler in there as well which I just unplugged on the strip. It's just a 4 watt uh, bubbler just to keep the oxygen uh, flowing and also the nutrient cycling a little bit around in there. Um, the cucumbers are just starting to form and beginning to mature. It's interesting to see uh, just on this offshoot here uh, there are about a dozen cucumbers. Uh, here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I guess, forming here on the tip. Not all of these will uh, actually mature into cucumbers. Um, so it, and this is this is uh, off of every stem here. You can see as well here, just. Uh, just lots and lots of cucumbers. So I'm interested to see how this works. I, I kind of have a feeling that these plants are not uh, getting enough light. I would like to add maybe something on the sides, but that's something to consider with increased wattage and cost, uh, but definitely to experiment. Um, I have been cycling out the nutrient uh, from the side here once a month. That seems to work out pretty well. I do pour the new nutrient here uh, into this hole. I think I would maybe move that more toward the front if I would uh, do another build on this. Uh, what is a little bit flexible is you can move these vines over here since I have them tied up on the top. Uh, on the one up here I already had a cut at the top because it's getting too high so this will be the height. Like I said I wish I could add another a foot or two onto the top of this. Maybe something that I would do next time. Um, if I can just speak uh, quickly about the type of cucumber, um, I'm using the Piccolino. Uh, it's a F1 hybrid um, and again I just use the rock wool cube and put it into a net pot. This is just a one and a half inch cubes and a two inch net pot. Um, so these plants again are nine weeks from the start when I germinated them and they've already reached the top which is four feet and it'll be interesting to see how all of these uh, blossoms, um, which ones will actually form fruit and how much will be produced. So that's it for now. Viel Spaß!